Well done. You thought that was fab. Now, it's been billed as the ultimate history lesson. Children from Saltburn Primary School have taken a step back in time to see what life was like in the Second World War. Yeah, they've spent the day as evacuees, travelling to the countryside and leaving everything they know far behind. Claire Wilson reports. When the air raid siren sounds, it's gas masks on and head to the safety of the basement. While this is only a history lesson for the children of Saltburn Primary School, the experience of being a World War II evacuee is as real as possible. When we had the, the siren part, I thought we were scared because it felt like it was so real. When the siren went off and you went like in the dark and the candlelit light, it was just, and you could hear like bombs dropping and it was quite scary. But it wasn't all make-believe as one lady gave her experience of wartime and of one of the biggest social upheavals the country had ever seen. But the life itself was very different then. Although these children were evacuated, they didn't come from very luxurious circumstances anyway. So it must have been so hard for them. Imagine how miserable they were. The adventure would have started at first on the station, but when reality set in, Many of the children went to really bad circumstances where they were very unhappy and many of them never saw their parents again. To learn more, the children took part in war-themed activities such as working out tactical manoeuvres in the operations room, learning first aid and helping in the kitchen to find out how to cook their rations. It wouldn't be very nice really, but obviously it's for your own safety to be evacuated from the bombs. You'd be away from your parents, you'd be um, with someone you don't know and um, you wouldn't know um, what animals they were and um, I'd be scared. But it wasn't all bad. At the end of the day, the children got to pack up their troubles and head back to mum and dad, Claire Wilson and Saltburn. It does make you think, doesn't it? Anyway, back to the...